Well, Holden has done little to ease the concerns of tens of thousands of workers following fresh speculation it'll shut down the Elizabeth plant in just over two years. The Prime Minister's adamant there's no more cash on offer and is demanding the company comes clean on its plans. End of shift, but is it the end of the line? A little bit concerned, but just that, what can you do? Just wait and see. It's a waiting game, that's all. I haven't heard nothing. Holden workers reeling from new reports. Parent company General Motors is set to announce it will pull the pin by 2016. There are 50,000 direct jobs at stake on whether Holden survives. The reports attributed to senior Liberal sources. These are people that are utterly committed to a free market economics, this scorched earth economics, which means no support for industry. They will be popping the champagne corks if cold Holden closes. The company sending a bulletin to staff calling the report speculative and insisting any official decisions would be communicated to workers first. We like to see it a lot stronger than that. But Holden wouldn't rule anything out. A spokesman told Nine News there'd be no comment, even when asked to confirm there'd been no decision on its future. The Prime Minister unmoved. There's not going to be any extra money over and above the generous support the taxpayers have been giving the motor industry for a long time. The coalition says Holden owes its workers and suppliers a firm decision. Holden make a decision, a commercial decision, uh, it's not something that we can, we can make for them. If Tony Abbott had any guts at all, he'd be here looking these workers in the face and telling them that he's already made his mind up. Live now to Tom Richardson at Elizabeth. And Tom, there's been no word from management. Well, no, Kate, there hasn't. And uh, as we saw, even their bulletin to workers didn't uh, deny the reports outright. But Jay Weatherill says he has spoken directly to Mike Devereaux and insists the Holden boss has told him the reports aren't true. Uh, now, remember also, as we reported last night, uh, Mr Devereaux actually came by here and gave a very upbeat address to workers here. And one wonders whether he'd have done that, knowing a decision had already been made to close. So no doubt some political games are being played, but unfortunately, Holden hasn't been been able to reassure its workers today. Kate. Thank you, Tom. Tom Richardson there at Elizabeth.